I'm trying to connect my Handycam Sony HDR SR11 to my computer and download the files. The problem is it doesn't seem like Windows 10 is supported but there's a clue here. In the handbook on page 104 where is it? Ah, there it is. On page 104, it talks about the file folder structure on the camcorder. And down here is what you want is the A, V, C, H, D. D. And there's a note, 2. So when you read 2, it says HD Movie Management Information Folder. It contains recording data of movies in high definition. Don't try to open this folder or access the content. Doing so might damage image files. Well, the program, if you go and download, look, Sony Support, and you click on and go there, and you can see there's the, the camcorder, and you go to Drivers and Software, and you want to select my Windows 10 operating system. Oh, there's no Windows 10. Well, you could go back and download other uh, software, but I have not had good luck with downloading software from someone other than the manufacturer. If the manufacturer doesn't make it, I don't know what the other people are doing. And it's probably just fine. I just can't um, wreck my computer. And I have done this before in the past. i just forgotten. So there is a way to actually do what they say not to do. And there's this handy dandy little cable here that has one end like this that goes into the camcorder and the other end is a USB port. Uh -huh. Now, so what you need to do is go to, in the camcorder, press the little home button and uh, I'll continue this video because I need to do some things uh, on the thing that I'm actually recording. Here's the Sony Handycam that I'm going to download some files from. And here's how you set it up. There's a, you go to the home key, home, select this button here, just select it, then select computer, there, then you select computer to the disk when you have this connector here uh, plugged in here and uh, follow be careful to follow the instructions on the screen because at one point it will tell you to disconnect the USB before you press the button and disconnect it on the camcorder so usually that's I guess that's how it is. It's so you unmount it. So you pull the USB thing, but there's a warning that tells you to do that. Just pay uh, careful attention to that. Okay, so after connecting the Handycam to the computer, it will show up in the D drive down here. Oops, it's a touch screen it will show up in the D drive down there and so then you navigate the D drive is actually what's in the hard drive of the handicap so you navigate from the D drive to the AVCHD directory then to the BDMV directory then to the stream and then you'll see that your recordings will be there uh, so this is the they're labeled from zero 0, 0, 0 mts and then it goes to 1 and 2 and 3. 
you take that file, I took that file, and I drug it up onto my desktop. Well, this is actually a screenshot. So uh, it's up here. So we'll put this screenshot away. And you can see it's up here uh, on my desktop. And behind it, I have Adobe uh, Premiere Pro running. And I set up uh, a new file, new project, uh, and these, this is what I select to look at this file. Uh, HDV and uh, 1080 i.30 and these settings match here if you if you click if you right click on this and open properties you can see that in the advanced settings nope in the details you can see this is 1440 by 1080 at 29 frames per second. That's the video. Uh, so when you go to edit this in a program like Premiere Pro, it's going to be looking for that. So you can see with this selection, I have that it's 29.97, but here's the 1440 by 1080 and the 29.97 uh, that's the closest I could get so that's what I went with there's probably other settings that will work um, collect OK and then you can uh, see I drag this into here and You can I'm see trying to connect my handicam it shows up Sony in here HDR and I can R11 edit this this is the to my computer and download the files beginning the of is, the uh, it doesn't program like that we're doing here is supported as but you can see it's folding back in on itself in the uh, handbook so I'll edit it and then I'll go over here 104 when I get it to I like it I'll go and export the project. Where are we here? File. Export. Export as media. And uh, in here, the video settings are as shown here. And the audio settings aren't changed they're as shown here if you want more information on how you deal with this uh, you can send me a note and uh, I'll answer your questions but this is documented in other places if you uh, Google Premiere Pro and they'll show you how to actually work with these programs but the point of this video is to how to get um, video High definition out of the cam out of the Sony camcorder and uh, into some kind of format that you can use uh, without having to go through some special um, program. Now, here's the caveat, the cautions. Um, when you're disconnecting the camera from the computer, I made these notes here. It says end at the top left then it asks disconnect from computer then it'll say ready to exit USB mode so when it says disconnect from the computer you unplug the uh, this cable that's this connected to the computer and this should, should all be done uh, not under battery power but connected to electricity uh, an outlet so uh, when you're ready to exit the USB mode click on yes then you'll be able to get uh, control of the camera uh, and be able to record. But I, while I was connected, I could not uh, record that, so I had to take screenshots. Uh, so that oh, 
and when you drag and drop um, it from the directory don't do anything else don't erase it from inside uh, the D drive don't change anything in the D drive only copy it over uh, you want to get rid of those um, uh, recordings uh, look up in the manual how to delete them it's pretty intuitive if you go through uh, the uh, manual okay I think that's it